What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan. This is George. What's going on, guys? How you living? Man, Lost in Vegas coming back into the unbiased real reaction. Real Shout reaction. out to our free thinkers, man. You so, know what? Um, so, what we doing, man? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm going to shout somebody out. This is random. Random as hell. Um, Mr. Sean Egberts, I believe, on Twitter. We were literally just on Twitter, and we were kind of looking for a country song to do, and... You know, we just saw your request, man. I think you've actually been requesting this for quite some time, if I'm not mistaken, because I've been seeing this come up quite quite frequently. So, you're in luck, sir. We just happened to just say we want to pick something random for country. Yeah, man. So, never heard of this guy, of course. <laughs> um, but I guess his name is The White Buffalo, and um, the song that I saw, that, that we saw recently, was called The Whistler on Twitter. So The Whistler. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, man. Without further ado. All right, this is a song... Um Basically, he gets shot and comes back from the war, and um, he's pretty disturbed when he comes back, and uh, it's not adjusting really to civilian life, and uh, he still feels like a killing machine and kind of uh, uh, bloodthirsty. Damn! So he, wow! This song follows. A little post-traumatic stress? To the 10th power. To the 10th power. Yeah, bloodthirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. He's a good whistle. He's a good whistle. Yeah. Is whistle game? Yeah, no. He's trying some home. Mm, see if I still he, got it. Get your pipes. <laughs> What's that, Andy Grip? Andy Griffin? Andy Griffin. Andy Griffin. Griffin. Yeah. Hey. He's just funny. Yeah, I guess apparently I wasn't good enough. He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. That was some bullshit. I used to be nice with the whistling, though. Nah, but his whistle, actually, in all seriousness, his whistle was really, really good. Yeah, it was. It was, it was crazy. The whistler. This time is different. It's not like the time before. Mm. Well, I cross my heart that I won't kill no more. Jesus watch over me mm. I Keep my anger at home Woo. He's got such a haunting Yeah His voice, he's got a great voice Especially for this song Yeah, man The way he prefaced that it, I'm glad he, he gave us the, you know, the introduction of what it yeah. was about Right Because right. it, it almost, it almost kind of envelops you more in, in the song because really of that good. You know, like, really like good. I think more artists need to do that so we're not fucking guessing Right What your, your weird <laughs> metaphors are some all the time, you know what I mean? I think that really, really helps, like yep. you said, get yep. you into the song um, So he says This time is different, it's not like the times before But I cross my heart that I won't I kill, kill no me. more yep. And you know, Jesus watch over me But uh, kind of a Johnny Cash vibe, like that yep. dark that, You know what I mean, the darkness yeah. of this But I like it so far. Yeah. Let's keep it going. You better bless these wicked hands. Cause got a mind of their own. Don't go downtown. The devil whispers in my ear. It's time for your curtain call. So I dress myself on up with alcohol. Step aside, step aside. Oh, let the whistle through. Yeah, I'm sorry, I gotta stop it. Yeah, this is this is. Yeah, man. It's un it's unsettling. It listen, is listen, very unsettling. It's very unsettling yeah. listening to this. You know what I mean? Which is, which it's almost like a really, a really good actor mm -hmm. in a movie where they make you feel them like it's a maybe an evil character yep. or someone who's really like who's the guy in No Country for Old Men? The guy from No Country for Old Men, the killer. Have you ever seen? I've that? never seen that. Damn. <laughs> the killer for I hate when when you're trying to make a point and you're like you ever seen that? Like, right no, like God damn it! <laughs> you don't even want to fucking finish the story. But the killer from No Country from Old Men was a he had his character was so unsettling. Mm. The way he played that, he would flip a coin and let you determine your fate. Wow! If the coin was a certain way, you know, then he would kill you. But 
that unsettling feeling that he gave me, I'm getting with this song. It's just, it's just really like a, like a Hannibal Lecter yeah. character. Yeah. Sounds like but that's a, that's a credit to his ability. Right. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Same thing with this gentleman. That, that's a credit to his yeah. ability to really make you feel unsettled like that. And he sounds great, by the yes, way. Yes, so. absolutely. Let's get back to it. just now dude yeah. that was wow crazy wow man shout out to scott man this is a great suggestion man the devil whispers in my ear it's time for your curtain call so i dress myself on up with alcohol step aside step aside or let the whistler through there really ain't no help at all for folks like me and you yeah man you know he, this is a man crazy. yeah this is a man who's lost all hope this is a man who's dealing obviously with post-traumatic stress and you know he's he's trying to numb the pain with alcohol and obviously he's not in his right state of mind. You know what I mean? He's just he's just lost all hope. He's in complete despair. Yeah, man. And um, it's a, it's sad because it, it really, it's reality for a lot of people. Yes. You know what I mean? But the way he's singing this, it is like so appropriate. It is so it's dead disturbing. It, it is very disturbing and yeah. beautiful at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've, I've gotten goosebumps in a while yeah. on any song. So this is, you know, very interesting. And, um... And I really like the way he, um, it's almost like a person that would really be going through post-traumatic stress. It's the internal struggle, right? It's disturbing, but it's beautiful, like you said, right? Mm -hmm. Because it is beautiful to, to fight for your country, right? And, and, and sacrifice, that's the ultimate sacrifice, I think, personally. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're putting your life on the line for the freedoms of other people that you don't even, that don't right. even know what you're doing mm -hmm. for them. That's right. So I really like the way, number one, how he, his tone and how he brought that full circle. But at the end here, he said, um, get your goddamn hands out. Don't look at me. Right. Mm -hmm. And it says no one here. No, excuse me. No one's dying here alone. Meaning that he going to master. Everyone's dying. Right. Including himself. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Well, I came to get it on. So let's get it on. Right. And then he said, uh, this is a different, this time it's different. Not like the time before. Right. Just like he's at the beginning of the song. He said, this time is different. Not like the time before I crossed my heart that I won't kill anymore. So it seems like this is a day-to-day -day struggle that just keeps re repeating itself like Groundhog's Day. Just keeps going over and over and over and over. Because he said he wasn't going to kill me anymore. So you get, the, you get the impression that he's like, well, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm dealing with my internal demons, right? I have this post-traumatic stress. I, I have these urges, but I'm dealing with it. I'm not going to kill anymore. And then he goes on to say, I'm going to dress myself with alcohol and I'm going to kill again. And then he says... I'm not gonna kill anymore. So it seems like this is the day-to-day, -day yeah. ongoing struggle that struggle that's on repeat constantly. Yep. Crazy yeah. man. And I think it's beautiful. It's, it's, this is this is an excellent song. But when he said, "Let's get it on," let's get it on. Like he is in complete yeah. war, <laughs> war mode. mode. Yeah. Like I'm, 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 I'm snapped. You know what I mean? Yeah. Crazy. This is, this is it. I can't. Like you yeah. said to your point, I can't suppress these feelings and these urges anymore. Yeah. I'm crazy. This is, this is a this is a man that's snapped, that's gone, that's lost <laughs> yeah, all hope. You're right. So crazy, man. Crazy. Very good point. Yeah, man. Let's get back to it. Let's get it out. This time is different. It's not like the time before But I cross my heart That I won't kill no more mm. Crazy. Mm. Beautiful. Even, even the crowd was shocked. Yeah, like, They wow. were like, whoa. Exactly. Assuming there's a crowd, I, I would imagine. It really paints the picture of, of the internal struggle, like I'm saying, right? Because he's, he went out, oh, let's get it on, and he... 
Right. That's yeah. someone that's that's not there. Not there right. It's like home. you know you almost have a, a split personality. You meet people with, with, with split personality. Like man, you're crazy. What what is going on with you? Yeah. One minute you're this way, and, that, and now you're. So I really think that whistle to kind of paint the picture of of uh, that internal struggle of what's going on. Split right. personality. You know what I mean? Um, and. Um, and, and quite frankly, that whistle is almost like Portergeist. Remember the old Portergeist? The old guy that whistled? It's been a while. I don't even remember. That shit freaked me the hell out I of the game. I remember being freaked out. I remember being freaked out by Portergeist. Because he used to whistle and he's out, Caroline. Don't Caroline. Mean, yeah, you know what I mean? But that's what that really kind of embodied to me. You know, like, wow. It was it was very sinister. Yeah, that's that's the power of music, man. You know, um, the way he sung this song really just, it, it spoke to me. You know what I mean? It was this unsettling feeling that I got, and, and I really, it's like the words were coming off the paper, man. I, it, yeah. I really felt like I was in that person's position. And the level of empathy that I have for our, our veterans, man, that, that that come home, you know, I think it's something that kind of goes, you know, gets overlooked. You know Big what I mean? Time. Huge, Big time. Big time. You know? Dude. You know, it's just, you know, it's traumatizing, you know what I mean, going through something like that. You know Absolutely. I mean? So, um, I thought that he really, really painted that picture very well, not just with the lyricism, but just with the emotion um, and the haunting vocals, the whistling, yeah. everything really put you in a moment. I thought that yeah. was excellent. I thought that was really, really good. Yeah. So, shout, shout out to all our veterans, man. Because, yeah. Because uh, don't even get me started on that conversation. Oh, yeah. I don't even think any, I think if you have fought for any war in this country. You should be set. For life. Taken care of. For life. In every capacity. Yes. You should not have to worry about money ever again in life. Mm -mm. I mean, and um, yeah, that, don't even get me started. But anyway, yeah. uh, big shout out to all the veterans. Absolutely. Shout out to all the veterans, man. And a shout out to the White Buffalo for an excellent song. Shout out yes. to Scott uh, Egbert, I believe, for uh, suggesting this one, man. Yeah, man. That really shook me up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, man. So we need to listen to Hanson Mbop. After this, yeah. <laughs> let's get happy age in this mother. All right, that's the end video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Absolutely. Las Vegas, George Ryan. We out. We out.